Ace Ramon, we're going to talk about the second assassination attempt today. Well, it it, it was an assassination plan, right, Kev? Would, yeah. Would you call it an attempt? If if uh, uh, I mean, he certainly wasn't there to play checkers. No, but I I, I just if you sit someplace for twelve hours and you put two ceramic tiles on a fence. Like they keep putting over this the Secret Service guy that, you know, saw the barrel of a gun as he walked through, which is like and then like nobody's made the reference to the fact of if I was walking along and I and I saw like, you know, two tops of uh coolers taped to the side of a fence it might draw my attention. What about the gun? I don't know enough about guns. That you know what they they, they the when they when they first uh, it first came out, um, they said that it was an AK forty seven, and I went, nah, that, that nobody would use an AK forty seven, and, and uh, you know they, they said because it it's not accurate enough at a well, long it's, distance. It's, it, it's just yeah. It's a seven point six two round. It's a it's a larger round, but it's just you know that was always the thing was uh, the AK is 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 a really um, like you know that's what the, the the Viet Cong and I mean it's 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 durable. You can pound nails with it. It's not as touchy as as a M sixteen or an AR four or AR fifteen or or any of those weapons. Um, I just have never have if my job was to be an assassin I would probably use something that you would shoot elk or deer with it's like not a assault rifle right I would use a hunting rifle and not from not an Italian made nineteen twenty four, um, so it, it, it's it's fucked up. My whole thing is, man, it's like whether it's it was a stupid choice of weapons, whether it was actually a, a, the the fact is like I look at myself and. If somebody took a shot at me two two months ago, you wouldn't fucking see my ass ever again. I mean, I'd have a key to a gym. I'd you know, it's like, it's like you. I, and this guy is out playing golf, and and they they took a shot at him, and then he's, I mean, I don't understand. For somebody that eats McDonald's, drinks Coca-Cola, d- never ingests water, he's not in shape, is constantly being uh, positioned to be, be charged with um, fucking some kind of crime. Felonies after felony. Yeah, felony after felony. He's... <laughs> He's been a scammer his entire life. He doesn't exactly tell the truth. Like, all those things that would you would think would just absolutely catabolically eat you from the inside out, and this guy, man, just pushes on. So I don't know if that's what people... Fine, like to me, like when when I read uh, and 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 saw the the uh, the coverage of his first hotel in Harris, which is I think at that time was backed by Holiday Inn or they were in a conglomerate, and he had twenty six acres of uh, of real estate in Atlantic City, and the, and they were going to put fifty million dollars into this project Harris was 
and they were like going to show up and they they were like before they were going to give Trump this money they wanted to see that you know that Trump could could pu- pull this off from from, a, from an absolute just pure construction standpoint and when he found out that basically they were going to call his bluff he went out and rented as much heavy machinery bulldozers backhoes steam like, and when they showed up, they were basically just moving dirt around. But there was activity. Yeah, like they, like just to, mm. the just to just to, just a ruse. And I, I I I just I saw that story and I was just like, this motherfucker it just never stops. So people tell me I, I like I love when people tell me I hate Donald Trump. I've never met the man. I, I don't. I don't hate anybody. You know. I mean, I, I. I hate Hitler. I never met him, but I, I've got a reason to hate him. But to me, it's just like I don't want him to be my president. But do I think he could fucking book heat in a fucking booking committee? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I, I'll hire That's Donald the gauge Trump. I always yeah. Use to- yeah, exactly. I'll 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 put Donald Trump on my booking committee, and he can he can come up with. I mean, I guarantee he could come up with some. Like, let's not do that. Let's just do it this way. Oh wow, that's really fucked up. Yeah, that's much better. Um, I just don't want him to be my president. Right. You know, that's all. You'd be like a Sullivan, a master heel booker. Yeah. Um. 